Before we get started, we just wanted to um, outline a couple of quick things about how the afternoon session will go. Because we are running um, like a European train, we seem to be a little bit ahead of schedule. So we can either end a little bit earlier, depending on how the conversation goes, end at our slated 3.30 time. Oops. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do, um, after I, I sort of quickly reintroduce who's on the afternoon panel to facilitate, facilitate the discussion, is open the mic up for anyone who had comments in response to panels one or two this morning. And then uh, Jeannie will begin to read some of the webcast questions and proposals that are coming in. So um, you guys remember, I'm Vanessa Allen Sutherland. This is Jeannie Layson. We now have um, also Neil Eisner who is a lawyer in the Office of General Counsel with Department of Transportation. And we are lucky enough to have his expertise, not just on standards as this relates to PHMSA's implementation of Section 24, but really a vast amount of administrative law knowledge about standards in general. And he can bring a lot of perspective about how other modes within DOT um, you know, sort of may implement or help us implement and what this might mean for us as an agency overall. Um, Mary Saunders will be returning uh, shortly to address any questions that we may have generally about uh, NIST's role in standards um, and any of the overview topics that we addressed this morning. Um, so please feel free to address questions to them as well. With that, I will open it up to anyone in the audience who has questions uh, remaining from panels one or two this morning. Seeing no hands, we're going to move to the webcast comments. Okay. Um, we have a, a, a question from Tracy Barnes, and her subject is possibility of terrorism raised. Um, she wants to know, with the implementation of Homeland Security after 9-11, has anyone taken into account that with everyone's ability to access pipeline information through all of this transparency of documentation and the general public's right to know, that there is a greater risk that those who mean us harm will have access to all of this data also. Um, does anybody want to weigh in on that? Have a comment? No? Okay, Tracy, maybe someone will pick that up later. Um, we also